Hello, my name is Craig Mason and this is Property Influencers, where we talk to some of the leading figures in the retail real estate market. I'm here today with Alessandra Pozzi, who is the Managing Director of Tommy Hilfinger uh, in Italy. Welcome to Mapping. Welcome, thank you. Tommy Hilfinger is obviously one of the, the great um, brands uh, around the world. What are your objectives here at MAPIC? What do you come here to MAPIC to achieve? Well, uh, first of all, it's not the, the first time I'm here, and uh, so I'm used to come to, to MAPIC. Uh, and I think it's uh, the, the, the best, uh, let's say, occasion in order to, to check and to talk and to evaluate the new real estate opportunity for the Italian market. So for me, it's, I think it's very important to be here. In Italy, we have uh, uh, okay. Tommy Hilfiger brand uh, is uh, let's say start his business uh, through wholesale in the in the past. But now, in Europe, we have uh, more than 450 stores, uh, so which is a great number in a way. In Italy, we have 40 stores, all in all operated and franchised both. And uh, our objective is is to to open mainly in a high street, and also in, in few shopping centers in Italy. So this is the, unfortunately I would say that the 80%, still the 80% of the business is in wholesale and uh, for sure we will try to, to balance more into, towards retail. There are some uncertain economic times in Europe at the moment and, uh, and obviously there's some challenging times in Italy. Yeah. How do you, do you see this having an, an impact on on your retail channels and d does that sort of impact your planning in terms of uh, opening new stores? But first of all I think that uh, okay usually I'm a, I'm a very a very positive person uh, and I have to be positive as an Italian uh, especially in this period uh, but I would say I'm not uh, so worried about the situation uh, okay recently the government uh, probably has to a, a, a little change so so we can see a little bit the light in a way. So honestly, I do not think that the, the recession that in Europe we had in 2009 will be repeat again in uh, next year. So having said that, of course, we have to be careful. We have to pay attention. Uh, and so uh, our preparation of, this, on, of the next year, which will be not so uh, simple, is uh, simply to focus more into what we have now to manage and uh, decrease a little bit the development for the future, but not stopping because uh, the world, the life continues. There's you know, a lot of talk now about multi-channel strategies and yeah. digital strategies when it comes to retail. And obviously the internet and social media and, and increasingly mobile is, is playing a big part even in bricks and mortar retail. How do those things play into your business and, and what are your sort of strategies yeah, moving no, forward? Actually, <coughs> the, the, the business is very low in Italy. Uh, still the Italian people are resistant uh, to buy through this uh, new channel. But I, I, I would say that in the next future, for sure, also Italians, as always, they will uh, come at the, 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 the same European level. Uh, it will be a new channel distribution as uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, when they started the village outlet business, everybody were scared, oh, it was going on, I mean, and then at the end is a new channel distribution that we have to, to, to do it. I mean, I'm not absolutely uh, worried that this channel distribution will, uh, let's say, uh, disturb in a way the, the others, because, uh, I mean, this is the, we have to, to follow the, the newness no, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the world, of the life. For sure we are already making a, let's say, a 360 degrees program for the, for the people. Um, again, I think it's very important. Uh, just to let you know, for example, uh, you know, we, have, we work with a conversion rate no, in, in the stores. And sometimes we say, okay, we have, uh, let's say, 10% conversion rate, but Sometimes uh, the people is uh, underestimating the fact that increase 1% of the conversion rate give 15% more net sales. It means that if you sell to one person more within 100, they make the difference. So from a technology point of view, back to the question, honestly, we are still 
let's say, structured, uh, but we do not have a special technology, new tools to, to, to utilize. Um, what is your view on sort of the new customer experience and are you interested in working with shopping center centers that are exploring sort of new new ways of interacting with customers? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, also the others. Eh? <laughs> so <clears throat> shopping centers, uh, let's say, it's, uh, I think that nowadays we need the diversity. Uh, so we, if we close our, our eyes and you put, uh, we go in the shopping man, uh, center in Naples and in one in Turin or one in Venice, they are all the same. And this is something that uh, we have to avo avoid for the future. Uh, so in, in, in my personal opinion, I think that the shopping center has to innovate and uh, renovate the concept in a, in a way. And first of all, they have to, let's say, invest in order to uh, bring the, 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 the right brands that are, uh, let's say, brands that are, let's say, the people are following uh, in order to catch the people into, into the shopping centers. So I think that they, my suggestion uh, is to, to invest more to get uh, the right brands and the right tenant mix in order to catch more people and give an offer to the people a different uh, shopping experience. So as much as uh, all these uh, players, they are talking each other uh, in order to find solution, to, to, to find innovation, I think it's key. I mean, I fully agree about that. Also, as, as a brand, together with them. <laughs> Not just because we are, we are uh, on, the same, uh, on the same boat at the end. Eh? So they, they, they rent the space and we, we, and we are there. So we, are, we have, it has to be a win-win deal. Uh, and to be a win-win deal, we have to talk as much as possible. We appreciate your time and yeah. we hope you have a good, well, it's only one more day left, but we hope you uh, have a good rest of Mapic. Okay, thank you.